Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. I'm Camchak Fisco. Come join me for a creepy adventure. Alright, that's where we want to go last, so let's go talk to the dying guy first. At last! <gasps> yeah, I read. You guys have been waiting for me. Empty ammo boxes and spent shells. Nothing useful. Sounds about right. Pretty sure this is going to trigger a cutscene. You're the last one left alive. Are you even Victor, or is he hiding in the house somewhere? Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Wild. Who else didn't see that coming? I knew that. I mean, turn your back to people shooting at you. That's, yep, yeah. Damn. He recognized me. And it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. A key. Could come in handy. He's dead. Looks like a bad case of lead poisoning. Funny, Jack. What a nut house. The walls have been covered with glyphs. Yep. Can I actually let them know that it's safe? They can stop shooting now? Because that'd be nice if they stopped firing at me. Let's see if we can go back outside. Oh, that's sneak. I gotta remember, no sprint I can't key. open it. Damn. Looks like I'm stuck. I might as well check this place out. Guys, they're dead! You can stop shooting now! Just, just the thought. Go ahead and save over our save game, because we don't need to save it. It's locked. Don't we have the key? The key doesn't fit. Okay, so we gotta find the particular It's door. unlocked. Oh, it auto-unlocks it. Cool, that's handy. Uh, this is creepy. We knew they were following us, but still. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? It must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've got to think. The one thing I've always found confusing in this game is sometimes he reacts like we've actually read the journals. Other times he doesn't. So it's a little weird that it's inconsistent. Nope. Nothing of interest. Well, nothing to say about that. Nothing here? Okay. Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. There's also a document we can read. All these photos and clippings are of me. I just don't get it. To say about the the fire is still burning. Alright, so let's check our new documents. Relation General Evidence. The Boston Globe, 20th August 1909. Enlightened or dupe, inside Boston's strangest church. Those of our readers who live near its headquarters and an ordinary-looking Boston residence will need no introduction to the Fellowship of Yith, the Fellowship of Yith, or whatever the cult's name is. For those who have not encountered this mysterious semi-religious group before, a few words of explanation are necessary. Since our country's founding upon the basis of religious freedom, it sure have been home to many small religious groups outside the main street. No small number are headquarters in the, new, in the states of New England, where the... New England's not a state. It's, it's, okay. Where the pilgrims themselves sought a new world free of religious persecution. But the question must be asked, at what point does a religion become a cult and its trusted adherents, not to mention its blameless neighbors, become victims? That is the question this journal poses in regard to the Fellowship of Yith. In a month-long investigation, our intrepid reporters have diligently sought out the truth behind this so-called church. Its origins are somewhat mysterious. The more so... Sorry, I tripped over since for some reason. The more so since the group's leader declined to be interviewed, or to assist our investigation in any way. However, there seems that it seems that the Fellowship was founded more than 20 years ago by one Victor Holt. So this group is the Fellowship of Yeth. Okay. Based on the revelation he had received from beyond the confines of this world, Holt has not been seen for almost six years. His followers apparently believe that he is communing with the mysterious powers beyond behind his faith and that he is shortly to return with new insights and teachings. All of this sounds like a harmless, if eccentric, spiritual group, a little different from many others. However, those who make their homes near the Fellowship's headquarters tell a different story, or tell a different, more sinister story. The adherents of this obscure sect are to be found loitering on the street corners, casting menacing glances at their innocuous neighbors and frequently engaging in acts of petty crime which the local police seem powerless to prevent or redress. 
Strange lights had been observed burning in the windows of the old house at all hours of the day and night. They changed color unpredictably and cast weird, unintelligible shadows. Even more disturbing are the noises which have been heard to issue from within the mysterious building. They include chanting, unearthly music, and worst of all, screams like those of lost souls in agony. Many of the sex neighbors are convinced that its services include human sacrifice or similar atrocities. Those few who dared complain to the police were told that because the house is private property, and because there's no concrete evidence of any wrongdoing, the most they could do is file a noise complaint. Are the horrors of Salem being reenacted in our city more than two centuries on? Is this fellowship of youth engaging in unspeakable and criminal acts of, in of worship involving torture and sacrifice? Why is nothing being done to ease the fears and distress they cause to the local community? A source within the police department speaking on the condition of anonymity tell the Globe that the Fellowship is suspected of involvement in a number of local crimes, but so far in the lack of evidence and the reluctance of nervous witnesses to come forward have thwarted any official investigation. Very well, we say. Where the police cannot or will not investigate, the Globe shall continue to act in the interests of Boston citizens. So we're in, like, Massachusetts. So New England is in Massachusetts. I don't know if that's where a real New England is, but that's where the fictitious one is. Fearlessly exposing the truth about the so-called church and its followers. Our findings will be published in these pages over the following months, so that all may know the truth. Editor's note, it is with great sorrow that the Globe announces the death of reporter Howard Adelstone, who was leading the paper's investigation into the fellowship of Yig, don't you mean Yith? When his apparent drowned in the Boston Harbor, the coroner has ruled his death a suicide, I doubt that. Our condolences go out to his family, he was looking into it, they murdered him, stupid. Jeez, not too bright, are they? Alright, now we should be able to open the other door. It's unlocked. Yes, it is. From nutcases, they seem quite literate. You need to, like, slow your heart beat down, Jack. These books are really old, and most of them are in strange languages I don't understand. Sounds about right. I don't have time to read. I'm a detective, not a pen pusher. I don't have time to so read. It appears open. to be a private study area. Let's get another document. I don't have time. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. Classical Greek? I don't have time to read. I'm a detective, not a pen pusher. Alright, so it's the same for all these books? I don't have time yeah. to read. I'm a detective, not a pen pusher. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. That's why I'm checking the books, Jack. I'm trying to look for a secret I don't have passage. time to read. I'm a detective, not a pen pusher. Alright, so I think we have to interact with the painting. But first, let's look at the evidence. Okay, it's not one of those. What is it, a journal? New. No. Mythos and Tomes. Narcotica. This manuscript looks medieval, but claims to be a translation from classical Greek from a far older work from before the time of the first humans. The pages are stained, faded, and even burned in some places, making reading difficult. The legible sections tell a history of unthinkably distant antiquity. Wait a minute, we can read Greek? They speak of races so strange as to be beyond human comprehension, and wars fought across vast gulfs of time and space. Their concepts are so utterly alien that they sound like absolute madness. Madness. Time travel, flying polyps, mental projection, the great race of Yith. That would be the where the religion comes from. It makes you dizzy just to read it. I don't know, half of those aren't that foreign to us nowadays, but back in the time that H.P. Lovecraft wrote, yeah, that would probably be pretty friggin' mind-boggling. Sure. Oh, it's a mirror. What the- whoa. Whoa, that's trippy. That just looks like a wall until you get up close and you just fall in. Guess we're going down. Shit. That did not sound good. No kidding. Whoa! Well, we're not getting back up. Well, that's just swell. Yeah. He's dead. The beam must have fallen and crushed his skull. Yeah, unfortunately, due to the nature of the game, I can't spend too much time looking at things that are horrific. Because it causes insanity, just so you all know. Medical charts on the human anatomy. More dead people are Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. No kidding. In all my time on the job, I've never seen anything like this before. Stare at the wall for a second, get some sanity back. From the markings, he must have been one of their own. 
I wonder if he volunteered. This roach is crawling on him. Lovely. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. Seems like these cabinets yeah, okay, are used thing. for storing chemicals and medical equipment. So I have to wait until the dialogue's done before I can trigger the next dialogue. Oh yeah, this seems normal. The hell? Whoa! Thank you for the zoom in. I appreciate that. That was necessary. Um, Looks like his stomach. The contraption above seems to be controlling his breathing. That's creepy. His beating heart. Dude, you're missing your organs and they're like in machines. What the hell, bro? Good God. What the hell is all this? Well, yeah, this seems normal. This pipe must drain the waste from his intestines. But what's feeding his intestines? Okay. Looks like his kidneys. They're moving around in all that liquid. Perfectly normal. Looks like his brain. I wonder what those wires are for. What the hell are they doing to this poor son of a bitch? I've never seen equipment like this before. Can I, uh, comment on this? Apparently not. Well, we can go left or we can mess with the device here. Oh, shit! I, uh... Maybe that wasn't a good idea. I've never seen such equipment before. Who could have made such a machine? Um... The crystal's still warm. I guess we needed to do that. Sure, why not? Let's move on. That seems perfectly fine. This tunnel feels like it's going to collapse at any moment. That's comforting. Did I grab the crystal? Ah! It's too hot to pick up. Never mind. That that was not a good choice. So we had to electrocute the guy to get the crystal. He's the only way to make this work. What the hell is this? What the hell is that? That's what I asked. Crystals everywhere. What the frick, man? There's no power. Yep, so we definitely needed the crystal. Because we can't get the one that's operating the other door. It looks like something's been removed from it. Yeah, I'm guessing the big shiny crystal thing. A strange green crystal. It's warm and exhibits an unusual glow. I'm sure this is a brilliant idea. Let's just go push the alien device button. So what could go wrong? That can't be good. Um. Okay. It's Portal. It kind of looked like one. Ow. Remember the creepy thing we saw in the painting? Yeah, that's him. Her, it, I don't know what. That. Um, there's more than one. Are they friendly? I'm gonna guess not. That was, that was fun. Can we not do that again? My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy them. So you all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, queue up a video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to tag that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.